the residents of Balochistan and Sindh provinces in Pakistan took to the streets against Pakistani authorities against the surge in the number of enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killing cases. Commemorating the International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances, on 30th of August, the leaders of Jess in the Freedom Movement, JSFM along with the family members of the victims, held a rally against the Pakistani authorities, warning them of a massive protest in the coming days had they not released the victims. We have a report. The growing number of enforced disappearances and atrocities in the peace-loving Palochistan and Sindh provinces have yet again brought the residents at loggerheads with the Pakistani administration. Commemorating the International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances on 30th August, a large number of people, including the family members of the victims, held a rally at Jhaz Chowk Sehwan Press Club in Sindh province. The rally, organized by the leaders of Jai Sindh Freedom Movement, highlighted the surge in cases of enforced disappearances across Balochistan and Sindh. While talking to the media, the JSFM in a joint statement said that, We consider the issue of missing persons of the national movement of Sindh and Balochistan as a violation of human rights. You know, the forced disappearances in Pakistan for political and other reasons is an uh, unfortunate reality, especially of the Baloch people and Balochistan, uh, where people are fighting for their rights, their independence, cost of living for the problems that they are facing in day to day. But uh, the, what is happening is, I mean, I understand that about 7 lakhs, you have uh, people, uh, nearly 12,000 cases of disappearances have been registered or at least are report, reported and nothing has happened on that. Even Musharraf himself had uh, acknowledged this problem. Enforced disappearances in Balochistan and Sindh have been a long stain on Pakistan's human rights record. The use of enforced disappearance by Pakistani security agents continues to play a significant part in their attempt to quell Baloch and Sindh self-determination and constitutes a major human rights violation against the people of Balochistan and Sindh. According to a recent figures released by Commission of Inquiry on Enforced Disappearances in July 2022, a total of 8,696 cases of missing persons have been reported. While 6,513 of these cases have been solved, 2,219 cases are still pending. Demonstrations against targeted killings and fake encounters are often held in Balochistan and Sindh and in Western countries. While holding placards and banners, chant slogans against inhuman atrocity in Pakistan, they urge the international community to speak out against the genocide as the silence of the world community is giving impunity to Pakistan. This is something uh, that needs to be addressed uh, by the international community, and, but I doubt very much that there is a very uh, keen interest on the part of the international community to, to address the problem or for that matter that of the Pakistan government which continues uh, to perhaps feel that that is the best way to look the other way or um, uh, try to engineer it also. This is quite possible uh, because they think that this kind of an insurgency uh, is something that needs to be suppressed and uh, must be uh, brought to books with those people and that is why it is now also likely uh, dissatisfaction uh, is very likely to lead to some kind of extremism. While thousands of Baloch and Sindh have been abducted and disappeared since its illegal occupation, hundreds of others have been eliminated in the line of Pakistan's kill and dump policy. It is a tool by the Pakistani state to silence the oppressed people of the poor provinces. Families of the disappeared people suffer significant harm. They live with continuous uncertainty about the fate or whereabouts of their loved ones. Some of these missing persons' relatives have passed away with the pain and suffering in their chests, but their loved ones have never returned back to them and they died waiting. <laughs>